What's up everybody? Bill with Island Stoke from Permaculture. Today we're planting blueberry bushes. Got three of them to plant. Two of them are already planted, but I wanted to do this last one and show you guys how I do it. Uh, how easy it is to plant a blueberry bush. Some people may think it's hard because it's a uh, fruit producing bush. It's not true. It's just like planting pretty much any other bush. Uh, there's a lot of people that decorate their front yards or backyards with ornamental bushes that could easily replace the ornamental bushes with food producing bushes and start to grow their own food or a little bit of their own food anyways so let's get to it we've got three different excuse me two different types that we're planting one's a blue jay and one is a northern northland this one right here we're planting is the blue jay now when planting blueberry bushes, it's good to have a couple different varieties. Uh, they'll cross pollinate, they'll give you a bigger yield, they'll give you a bigger berry too. So when you're looking to buy some blueberry bushes or looking to plant some, make sure you buy at least two different types of varieties so you get that cross pollination and you get that good harvest out of it. So first things you're going to dig the hole. This back, this soil back here is easy. This, we got a sandy soil back here, so this is going to be simple. Plus we got a little rain the past few days, so the ground's already moist and wet. So I don't, I won't have to water this, which is another sa uh, saving step, a self-saving step. Do it right after it waters. Also the best time to plant would be in the fall. The fall, it's not hot outside, so the plant's not struggling to try to stay alive and get water but it's not freezing so the roots have can get out and branch out and grab on. Oh, we got some lemon balm I just pulled up. I'll have to replant that somewhere else. So when digging this hole, ideally you want to get the hole twice as big as your pot. Depth wise, you want to plant it at the same spot where the plant already is. So when you go to plant it, depth wise, you want it right there, right where it's already at. If you go too deep and start to cover up this stock, it could get moldy, it could get rot, and it'll die. If you, and, and opposite, if it doesn't have enough, say it's all the way down in here, these roots are gonna dry up and the plant's gonna die as well. So you want to plant it at the level it's already at in your pot. So we'll give it a check, see if we're deep enough. Oh yeah, we're definitely deep enough. Let's go a little bit wider. Now you really can't make the hole too big. The reason you want to make it at least twice as big as the pot is it loosens up all the soil that's around it and the, and the roots have a better chance of kind of branching out and through the, through the loose soil and taking hold. Let's give it another check, see how we are. We need to go down just a few inches, take a little bit of this out. All right, we got our hole dug. Now it's time to take the plant out. Best way I found to do it is to put your fingers around the stock of the plant so it doesn't fall. Tip it over, give it a few pats, pull it up. Now it's going to be pretty root bound sitting in that pot. So next step is you're going to need to loosen it up a little bit. It helps it expand just like helps the roots grow. So you're going to kind of pull it out. Yeah, you're going to break a few roots. You're going to tear a little bit of it up, but it's okay. As long as you're just not tearing it to pieces, you're not gonna kill your plant. You're actually helping it expand its roots right now. So once you got it all brushed up a little bit, roots hanging, now it's time to go in the hole. In the hole, make sure you get it at a good level. If you need some more, need to take some out, do so before you put the rest of the dirt around there. All right, we're at a good level, it's a good size hole. 
Now it's time to fill it back in. Now some of y'all might be thinking, oh, it's a fruit producer. I have to fertilize it every year and I have to watch it closer than the, than the, than the uh, other bushes, the ornamental bushes. No, that's not true either. Maybe if you were a blueberry farmer and you had acres of blueberries and you're trying to get the best harvest out of your blueberries possible, yeah, there's things you can do to blueberries to get a better harvest. But you don't have to do those things to get a better harvest. A few things like buying different strains, strands of blueberries, like a blue jay and a northern, that's going to give you a better harvest. Your mulch can be your fertilizer. You don't have to fertilize this thing if you, as long as you mulch it correctly. And let's see, blueberries like a low pH. And they're also shade tolerant. So if you say you're on the say you've got a spot on the side of your house that gets four to six hours of sun a day, plant a few blueberry bushes there. They'll do just fine. Had a house in Greensboro, North Carolina, and had three blueberry bushes planted on the side of the house where it probably got four hours max of sunlight a day. And I got a great harvest off of blueberries every year off those bushes. Well, if I could beat the, the chipmunks and the squirrels to it. That was another little trick. Sometimes I had to put some netting over them so you know, the little critters would leave my blueberries alone and I could get to them. All right, we're almost done filling this hole back in. Once you get the dirt on it, you want to pack the dirt down. You don't want a lot of air in there. Air is, can, can be bad for it. It can get stale in there. It can turn anaerobic. And uh, just not good for the plant. It could kill the plant. So you want to pack it down. Boom. It's planted. Next step is to mulch. Now this is the only fertilizer you really need to do. Is mulch it. What I have for mulch is cut grass clippings. You want a good four inches of mulch around your plant. This is going to help hold moisture in, moisture retention, and during the winter, it'll help keep the roots warmer and not freeze as bad there. So the plant has a better chance of making it through the winter. Now, if you're in Michigan, and I'm in North Carolina, you might want to look up what kind of blueberry plant will be best to plant for you because there's, there is different varieties of blueberry plants that do better in a colder climate or do better in a warmer climate. I'm in North Carolina, but if you're in Michigan or something, you may not want to be planting blue jays. I don't know. Make sure you do your own little research on that. Make sure you know which bush you're planting so it's not a pointless work. If you're not making all this work to plant your blueberries, and then next year, they don't come up because they died over winter. That's pretty much it, y'all. Dig a hole. Put your blueberry bush in it. Mulch. And good to go. And it's safe, safe you don't want to use grass clippings. A good, th a good Another th good thing to use for mulch, and it's cheap, is pine straw. Pine straw will also lower the pH in the ground, which blueberries enjoy a lower pH. They enjoy a higher acidity soil. The pine straw and the pine shavings do that as well. So if you want a good cheap way to take care of your blueberry bushes, use pine straw. You only have to do it every two years. You put four inches on there one year, wait another two years, put another four inches. That's it. All right, y'all, go plant you some blueberries, pull out those beautiful ornamentals that you have just sitting there not really doing much for you and plant some food it goes the same thing with trees plant you some fruit trees along with your fruit bushes all right y'all later